Hello everyone. We we'll start with our next topic in that debugging mode, and one of the most most important topic of that debugging mode, debugger. What are watch points? Term itself is suggesting we will watch. We will watch. What is watch point? A watch point is used to monitor the values of variables, internal tables. You can also monitor the values of work areas. So, what is the purpose of watch point? You can monitor the values of variables. internal table work areas you are constantly monitoring suppose i am saying we have a variable and that variable is so many times using in the program and we want to monitor that variable that at which particular time the value is changing to this so at that point of time you should go for watch point widely widely used feature you can monitor the values of variables internal table work areas using these watch points one widely widely used of the watch point is suppose i want to monitor the contents of a selected row then at that point watch point plays an important role anyways we'll see the practical and we will understand how to put a watch point and how watch point is helping us suppose i will go to a program suppose in this program we have two internal tables lt data 1 and lt data 2 suppose it is a huge program and lt data 1 is filling at suppose five places so i can put a watch point on lt data 1 and i can monitor at what what places what are the values changing how it is changing so at that time watch point will play an important role we'll see how to do the watch point i am running the program i am giving the input to the program i am going to debugging mode i am going for execute desktop 3 most preferable desktop as of now there is no break point in the program we will learn how to put a watch point there is a button watch point i am putting a watch point on internal table lt underscore data 1 similarly i will put a watch point on second internal table also lt underscore data 2 okay so i put two watch points one on lt data 1 one on lt data 2 you can check also where you put the watch points go for this break slash watch point tabs from the first tab you can check where you have the break points from the second tab you can see where you put the watch points we put two watch points one on lt data 1 internal table one on lt data 2 internal table whenever i will execute the program and something change with these two internal table i will automatically got a notification that watch point reached i'll show you i am doing simply f8 
you can see i got a notification watch point reached for first internal table lt underscore data one if i will open lt underscore data one you can see five records came in the internal table five the internal table filled with five records it is just a notification to me that data came into the internal table in the future whenever data will change or more records will come to this internal table again i will get a notification suppose i have put a one more watch point on lt underscore data to internal table as of now the internal table has zero contents i am doing s8 you can see i will again get a notification for lt underscore data to i'll just wait i think system is taking time and you can see i got a second notification watch point reached lt underscore data to and if i if i will open my internal table 13 records came in the internal table whenever whenever the this internal table contents will change in this program after that i will automatically go to a notification that watch point reached this is the way how watch points are helping us suppose we'll go for major important use of a watch point i want to check when the order number 6 is coming in the loop suppose i want to analyze a particular record when the order number two is coming inside the loop so i can put a watch point on a particular record particular record also i'll show you i'm running the program i'm passing the input i will go to debugging mode Suppose I will execute the first query. I will execute the second query. First internal table, five records. Second internal table, 13 records. And loop is going on both the internal tables. I want to analyze the order number or i want to analyze a record where order number is 3 order number is 3 so i can put a breakpoint i can sorry i can put a watch point and i can monitor this particular thing particular record how i will go to watch point I will simply put a watch point on work area LS data one because from the internal table, you are moving the records to the work area and whenever record will go to work area, you want to specifically analyze the order number three order number three. this is the way you are giving a condition also that watch point please please give me the notification whenever order number three will reach order number three will reach i'm going for okay i'll just check i think i it is ls underscore sorry Okay. Now, whenever I got the notification watch point created, whenever I will do the F8, 
एंड यू कैन सी आई गॉट ए नोटिफिकेशन वॉच पॉइंट रीच एंड इन दिस ऑल्सो आई आई विल चेक specifically the order number 3 will be there if i will show you the work area ls data 1 and if i will show you the work area you can see order number 3 is going inside the table and you can see side tabix is also 3 third record is going on where what is the order number on the third order what is the order number on record number 3 3 3 this is the way suppose if your internal table has so many records and you want to analyze a particular record at what time it is doing how it is coming at that time watch point play a very very important role because you have a option to give a free condition entry also you can give a condition also so this is the way how watch point is helping us now the question comes what is the difference between a break point and watch point break points you are putting on executable statements you are putting the break point on executable statements but watch point you are monitoring the values you are monitoring the values of variables internal table work areas so this is the use of the watch point very important topic watch point so that's it in this video thank you